This episode is part of our Australian India Pale Ale series. Today's beer is Stockade Bruco XPA Splicer. Hello from Beer Australia Reviews and today we will be sampling, tasting and reviewing some Stockade Bruco XPA Splicer. Stockade Bruco is a new one to me, this is the first time I've tried their beers. Uh, it's a microbrewery from uh, Sydney in New South Wales. Uh, if you look on their website it looks like it's the typical type of one of these new microbreweries and brew pubs that's opened up across Australia. Uh, they have the usual range of uh, different types of uh, craft beers and if you go along you can have the usual sort of pub food so if anyone's been to the um, Stockade Bruco brew pub in, in uh, Sydney in New South Wales let us know tell us what it was like they also do a range of sorts of unusual beers as well by the looks of things um, I've obviously not tried any of their other beers because this is the first time I've tried any one of the Stockade beers and also I was reading on their website about this particular beer now it says it's got the usual things in there it says it's got a blend of hops Vic Secret, Ella and dry hops with Centennial they also mention they add grapefruit into the mix now I am not a fan of adding additional things into the beers uh, the worst one I've come across on this one someone took a, an, a very average source of a beer and they made an absolutely awful product by adding peach juice. I won't mention any names, right, but it's the most awful drink I've ever had in my life. A, a horrible bit of beer with peach juice mixed in in the can. If they've added grapefruit to the mix, I'd rather just have a beer. Get the flavour from whatever are the standard um, ingredients. Uh, the grapefruit flavour on the beer is actually um, a product of the citric acid. It's not actually grapefruit juice that's in the beer, but your mind um, tastes the citric acid in a certain type of a context and your brain thinks grapefruit and that, that's the way the flavor should work they can add different sorts of flavor notes in there with different types of hops uh, some of them definitely taste the pineapple and I know that there's no pineapple juice actually in the in, in the drink itself in the mix uh, but anyways let's give this one a try so I can smell grapefruits already. So it's a pale ale, it's very clear. Lots of fizz. I can smell grapefruits already. Okay, it looks really nice though. As this one's settled, it looks like it's got a little bit of haze in there. The initial rush of bubbles has gone. Let's see if there's any um, more. Oh, we've got a bit more haze in there as well that's looking good so we've got a little bit of sediment i'm getting some citrus flavors on this one but let's actually um, give it a, a good smell let's give it a taste and see what it's like oh there is grapefruit in this one there's so much of a grapefruit flavor that it has to be correct they must have actually added grapefruit juice into this one it's not unpleasant though when i've um, had a go of the beer which was um like a, a bit of beer with peach juice mixed in it was just wrong didn't work it was awful but this one let's give it a go there's grapefruit across the tongue immediately it's quite a smooth beer it's got that cold water vibe about it so it's it goes down really um, slick and easy head's going down now um, lost some of its bubbles oh there's definitely grapefruit in this one that is without doubt the most grapefruity beer i've ever tasted but it's not a, a big long lingering flavor though um, uh, now I've actually got the, the standard type of a grapefruit um, peel sort of a flavour in the background. My idea of this one then is, I, I think they do add some grapefruit juice in, which it actually works in this case. I, I was sceptical when I read that on their website, but now that I'm trying it. So you've got a grapefruit type of a juice flavour as you taste the thing initially. But now that uh, I've got the aftertaste and the bitter grapefruit aftertaste, like a bitter peel taste, uh, is what I'm getting right this second. Let's see if we can get any other characters from this one apart from grapefruit. Does it mention, what does it mention on the website? It just says it's a thirst quencher, so it's not making any claims about having um, lots of complexity or uh, claiming to be, uh, to have all the sorts of tropical flavours in there. It says grapefruit, and it definitely, definitely has grapefruit in this one. 
it's quite a sweet flavour, so if they've added grapefruit juice in, it's like an extra little bit of um, sugar that's gone in there. Trying this on the top of my mouth, and now the standard type of pale ale type grapefruit flavour at the back is um, is starting to kick in. It's a very quenching beer, this one. It's not the most um, thickest and heaviest malted beer. Um, what's the strength on this one? 4.4%. So they haven't added lashings of extra malt in there like you get with some. So a pale ale should be a little bit lighter than than, than an India pale ale. So less uh, thick malts and less sugary malts in there. Now they call this one though an XPA. Now they say this one is an XPA, so the extra is the grapefruit? Possibly, I don't know. So we'll have to ask Mr. Mr. Stockade himself uh, whether that's the case. So XPA splicer. So did they chop the fruit up and throw it in the thing? They must have done. Okay, let's see if there's anything else in this one. Oh, it, it's grapefruit all the way down. There's definitely grapefruit juice in this one. Oh, I'm getting some sort of dryness and tanginess then with that. So they, they, there was like a tang across the tongue. Bitter aftertaste now. So I'm getting the, the standard type of grapefruit peel at the back. It's it's quite a sweet beer, this one, um, even though it's got that like hint of the bitterness. Uh, it's not a thick sweetness like a uh, an India Pale Ale is, but it has enough um, sweetness inside there just to make it an easy drinking uh, beer. It's one of these sorts of beers that would slip down really easy on a hot summer's day. I can imagine going to uh, going on a picnic on a warm Australian day and having a cold can of this. It's it's one of those sorts of beers that would be my recommendation for this one. It's a nice beer. I you can tell that it's a quality beer. It's got um, certain types of complexity in there. I'm not getting multiple notes of different sorts of uh, tropical flavors or anything like that at all, but the grapefruit is the overwhelming thing on this one. It's a nice quality beer, and I will be interested in trying some of the other um, Stockade Brew Co. from uh, Sydney and New South Wales. I, I will be trying some of their other beers if I see them uh, in the local uh, bottle shop. So I think this is the first time I've seen any of their beers. It was the only one that they had in my local uh, vintage sellers shop. But yeah, I'll definitely try some more of these ones. Uh, this is Stock A Bruco XPA Splicer from Sydney in New South Wales. Yeah, give it a try. Thanks for watching.